Welcome to the Curly Hair Q&A Show. I am your host, Ken Nichols, and I am here with Melanie Nichols. She is the founder of the Raw Hair Organic Salon in beautiful Naples, Florida. It's one of the top curly hair and color salons in the country, and Melanie is one of the top curl and hair color experts anywhere in the world. She is also the founder of the Raw Curls brand of natural and organic curly hair products. And this is show number 130 and Curl Crap giveaway show number 13 this week. And uh, if you've been following along and uh, we are sponsored tonight by, just like every week, Raw Curls. And you can find Raw Curls at rawhairorganics.com. We got an infographic for that. Oh, he's got the wrong infographic. Did Rhett just get fired? <laughs> oh, my God. And the... Oh, my hotkeys that I have every week are messed up because all the sales are over. Right. So everything changed and I completely forgot that oh, everything changed. So okay. there's your Raw Curls. All right. Well, we're sponsored by Raw Curls this evening at uh, rawhairorganics.com, the uh, natural and organic curly hair product line that is um, uh, developed. And you want to bring that picture back? <laughs> I'm not done with it. <laughs> It's uh, de designed and developed by curl expert Melanie Nichols sitting next to me, my co-host. And uh, Rhett, our producer, a man of many talents. <laughs> and a man Master of few of talents, apparently. <laughs> also, Well, one of the talents is, and Instagram, you guys probably can't see this. Can Instagram see they this? They cannot see this. Instagram, you cannot see this, but this is a picture that Rhett took this, um, this week. Uh, on the Caloosahatchee River, uh, down by where we live in the uh, in Southwest Florida, and this is in the um, Four Mile Cove um, Nature Preserve. And uh, this, you haven't seen this yet, Melanie, have you? Mm, well, yeah. he just flashed a picture in front of me yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, that's it's. Um, yeah, we took this with our fancy dancy new camera and stuff, so they're really they're really professional looking by a, a professional type photographer. So. I like that you say professional type, type. because yeah, you don't gosh. like to be called an expert, Rhett. So I didn't I... say expert. I am a professional, okay, but I'm he is not a... an expert. You know what, Rhett? We do have to start calling a professional because he is paid for what he does. So that makes you a professional, right? That's right. Yeah. So our Absolutely. profession, our in-house professional creative media specialist, is that a good name? Monkey Wrangler. Monkey Wrangler. Because that's about what I do every, <laughs> every week. Took these wonderful pictures and took about, what did you take, about two or 300 pictures this week? I took a lot. I, uh, You know, some of them were, were different things, but we got mm -hmm. we got out of all of it, we probably got about 50 to 60, like, really good oh, product yeah. shots. I was say, you took yeah. 200 and got one? That's yeah. All I got. No, yeah. no, I got a bunch. We got a lot of different stuff, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, Raw Curls is an indie brand, um, as I said, and... Um, it's not in distribution. It's not in a big box store. So when you buy it direct from the manufacturer, you get the best deal. And I'm going to elaborate on that sometime soon, right, Rhett? <laughs> sometime soon. I just went on a big diatribe about this about an hour ago. Um, and not about this, but why you should buy indie brand curly hair products. There's a reason. And I'm going to explain that later. We are also sponsored this evening by Raw Organics. And Raw Organics is in that nice picture. Mm. Isn't that raw organics? Uh, you can find at raworganics.com. That's R A W G A N X, uh, nutritional supplement company founded by your host. Why did you put your sweat rag in there? <laughs> well, I think if you it would have been me... nicer without the. It's okay. all about it's all about towel. textures. It's all about textures. It's all about colors and textures. Yeah. So anyway, so Red took this picture and uh, the uh, raw organic super green juice powder. If you're not familiar with it, I know a lot of you are. Thank you very much for your business. Um, it uh, that is on uh, Sundays and Mondays when Melanie puts her nine miles in of rollerblading, uh, she comes home to a nice, big, healthy glass of Raw Organics Super Green Juice Powder in her shaker cup, right? My weeds. Her weeds. <laughs> <laughs> they don't totally taste like weeds. They're really good for you. You got to be careful saying that because uh, they could really be misconstrued as something else that well. you go and exercise and then you enjoy the rest of your day with your weed. <laughs> Weeds, yeah, yeah. yeah. plural, yeah, absolutely plural, <laughs> plural. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, yeah, I know. I'm uh, such USDA, a good salesperson. yes, thank, thanks <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> but it's a no, uh, it USDA. Great. We yeah. mask, we mask the the bitterness of the the greens with 
what vanilla no? vanilla almond milk oh it was lemon it was lemon. yeah it's lemon flavor yeah. um no, yeah we're get, we got new flavors coming out too so anyway it's what i used when i had cancer and i still use today and i'm still alive so for whatever <laughs> whatever the hell that means uh so those are your sponsors so i appreciate it if you would uh, check them out also um our last sponsor for the evening is the raw curls academy and uh, we have another we just finished three weeks ago we just finished one of the uh, two-day raw curls academy two-day workshops uh, for professional curly hair stylists or stylists that would like to be curly hair professionals and where's your cough button Rhett? and um well, your boss didn't buy you one, right? Ah, he did. He did ask me for one a while back, and I said no. Uh, but we have another Raw Curls Academy uh, training coming up, October twenty seventh and twenty eighth. So in about two months, uh, we announced this, I believe, last Monday for the two day workshop in beautiful Naples, Florida, at the Raw Hair Organic Salon. And we have three. We only have three spots left. So if you want one. Uh, go to rawcurls.com slash academy and you can register on there and um, come hang out with Melanie and I for two days. And then you'll hate us forever. <laughs> you get to see behind this. Not you think true. Instagram, you think, right, it's not true. But you think, uh, you think you see behind the scenes now? Yeah, come hang with us for a couple of days. You'll learn a lot. You'll learn a lot. All right. Okay. Uh... Oh, before we get started, I'd like to, th last week, uh, Miss Melanie was out of town. You guys know she was uh, at a training. Is it, is it safe? Is it right to say you were at a uh, training to, um, what, to be a trichologist, to a trichologist type training? Is that a good way to put it? Right. It was about um, thinning hair and hair loss and, um, you know, the restoration of that. So definitely. Yeah. And uh, she spent a couple of days up there and we had a I had a fill in co-host for the evening, a curl specialist, Miss uh, the lovely Miss uh, Kelly uh, Byler. Yes, and way to go, Kat. Kelly Nicole. Way to go, Kelly. You did a good job. You did a great job. Thanks for filling in. We really appreciate it. Thanks for Hope you guys, uh, yeah. filling, uh, sitting in my seat. Hot seat, in, in the hot seat. Hot, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it still warm? It is. <laughs> I think she peed. Oh, she might have. <laughs> but no, thank, thank you very much. We really appreciate you filling in. I hope you guys like that. And uh, we'll be bringing in more guests. And actually, we may be doing a filming coming up quickly here. Um, that I think you guys are really going to get a kick out of if it happens. I don't know if it's going to happen. It was we'll confirmed see. for this weekend. Okay, Rhett, do you got that? Okay, so that changes what I, you and I talked about. All right. I just need to clear. I just said uh, I need to know which day, Saturday or Sunday, so we'll find out. All right, then keep on with what I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's cool. So anyway, you guys will find out. We can't tell you any bit more, any any more, but um, that will be cool. On top of that, and I'm, we'll talk about this more at the end of the show, but I just want to throw this out there. Do not miss next week's show. Do not miss next week's show. I mm. know that lots and lots of curly-haired women and straight-haired women, for that matter, both would um, would do well to come on the show next week. We are bringing on, I won't tell you who it is, but we are bringing on... Why? Can I? Because I don't have a picture and I don't have anything mm -hmm. I can put on. I think on, you, know you should I mean? still announce it. Okay, well, I'm, I'll have Melanie do that, but we are bringing on a true thinning and hair loss expert, a real legit one. Um, to go along with all the real legit equipment that we just got. But we are bringing on someone that's going to do open Q&A, is going to tell you everything that you need to know or ever wanted to know. Um, it's going to yeah, it's going to be special. So go ahead, Melanie. Why don't you, why don't you tell us about who um, who's coming on? Well, um, you know. I was just trying to see here if I had uh, any other pictures or anything, but you could share that if you want. Um, well, it's going to be Deshawn. I can't think of her last name now that because I didn't know we were going to announce that. Um, mm -hmm. Red could look it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, okay. then go ahead and show it to us. It's Deshaun. Sorry, I, it's just, it's been such a crazy day. I can't even focus on, I don't know what, I forget what her last name is, but um, 
Anyway, she is the founder of a hair loss uh, product company and uh, has been in the business since 1997 and is doctor rec- recommended and supported and even spoke at, uh, is speaking at dermatologist conventions and has the support of physicians. So Deshaun knows her stuff. So um, anyway, that's who was teaching the class that I took last week, and uh, it was amazing, amazing. Um, The information that I learned uh, was quite interesting, and I think everyone will really enjoy uh, seeing her and asking questions and hearing what she has to say and share. Yeah, so after I absolutely tell even your straight-haired friends, if you really want to know the ins and outs of it and what you can do, what you can't do, and, and... there Everything in between. Is. Yeah, there she is. Um, watch the show next week or listen to the podcast next week because you guys have seen how our Q&As go. We always say, we're going to be done in half an hour. Uh, I think hour and 18 minutes is, is the fastest interview we've ever done. So you're going to get to ask you know, anything you want to know. She's um, got so much like information. My head yeah. is still spinning. Um, yeah, and, and I believe she is, uh, yeah, she's a hairstylist as well. And, you know, she has a salon and a hair loss treatment center. But, um, you know, she has been in the hair industry and is a cosmetologist herself Mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So, Melanie, um, we've got some fancy dancy equipment now. And Melanie is going to start doing this at the beautiful Raw Hair Organic Salon in Naples. Mm -hmm. We have a room set up for it and everything. And kind (laughs) of, sort of. Unless somebody wants to move in there, which is another thing, do we have, do we have the 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 um, the stylist ad ready, Red, or no? Okay, no. <laughs> um, no, they. I, I don't. We have one for hiring stylists. I don't know. We got a bunch of resumes. I don't know if we're even talking about it. Anyway, we have a space for it. But what's neat is yesterday Melanie fired up that bad boy at home, and we and we played with it. That the equipment, the scope we played with the, the scope, the trichoscope, that the trichoscope, um, and we looked at each other's scalps. So that's the fun part. The bad news is, yeah. as you guys have heard, I've talked about it and I talked about it last week, is that I've got this one spot that is just it's it's really thin, like right up and it's along receded. my head. It's receded, and I was really excited because I thought, okay, Melanie's gonna go to this class and we're gonna figure out I'm gonna get this spot filled in because the rest of my hair is really nice and thick and whatever. Um, uh, well, the bad news is, is we found out that there's no hair follicles there anymore. So no active, hair no follicles. active fair hair follicles. Can we make them active or no? Yours were, um, unfortunately beyond my scope. Scope, uh, get it? Scope <laughs> of expertise. Right. Well, that's, I am, I, I'm trying to tell you plugs. that you need, yes, you need to see a uh, dermatologist or you know some I'm gonna transplant plant some of my thick hair into that spot <laughs> I'm I'm getting I better not have I've seen those guys that have got that linear scar thing oh my no way if they can just plug a couple in that little spot there I'd be it's cool. fine I got them we'll put some curls there all right so anyway the the bad news <laughs> So the the good news is it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, one of these days we're going to do it. Well, not yet, but we've we've got some ideas for some shows that we're going to do that we're going to talk about some stuff now that we've got this machine. It's going to make a lot of people really upset. <laughs> But it's truth. The tr- it, it's you see it with your own eyes. Um, you know all the arguments that go on in all the curly hair groups about products that don't build up and products that build up and this and that and co-wash this and blah blah blah. Mm, we'll we're gonna, talk we're about gonna, it next week. We're gonna throw some facts. We'll talk <laughs> and they're about not, it next they're, week. They're not like I said. They're not really all happy facts, but they're facts, right? The truth, you know, the truth is a pesky thing. So anyway, well, let's just leave it at that. Yep. It's neat. It's really, it's really sucks. awesome. <laughs> it sucks. It's really cool, but kind of crazy. All right, let's get into some curly questions. We'll How show them your scalp under the scope. We'll show them your scalp under the scope. <laughs> Mister Buildup. Can't believe it. All right, question. I have single, I have single strand follicles. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Anyway, all right. 
Hey, Melanie. So I am currently living in Hawaii, and ever since we got have got on the island, my scalp has been extremely dry. I feel like I have tried everything I can think of to help, but it's not working. What do you guys do for dry scalp problems? I'm willing to try anything at this point. Cool. I know a ton of people out here struggle with it too. Thank you in advance. So, Willing do you remember anything. being in Hawaii and it being really dry? Do you remember that? I think they should fly me there and I'll tell Take them what look. to do. <laughs> you said you're All willing right. to do anything. There yeah. you go. So, <laughs> One of the next. I don't feel bad you're living in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I think we answered this question once before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was, I remember a question about Hawaii. So anyway, oh, because we told them uh, to try to find somebody that lives there and see what they do, you know, because it could be from the water. Definitely, you know, people complain about that moving here to Florida from up north. There's issues. The water is terrible. There's all kinds of chemicals in it. Um, So, you know, what products and what kind of filters and things can work and help to alleviate the issues that you're having in a different area and climate, you know, it's best to probably talk to somebody there. But um, dry scalp, you know, it could be a lot of things. And now that I had this class, you know, I learn a whole lot more, you know, it can be from a product buildup. Of course, it can be a a hormonal or stress thing or an allergy thing. Um, But you know, um, there's a lot, there's a lot of products out there that can help to alleviate that. It's usually just cleansing and clarify, exfoliating that scalp because we exfoliate our skin all the time, like on our face and our bodies, but we're not truly exfoliating our scalp. So that can create that dry flakiness. Hmm. Okay. Well, hopefully that, uh, hopefully that helps. Yeah. But there's, you know, there's things like, um, there's different oils that can be soothing, like lavender and calendula, um, but it could be, you know, something that needs like an antibacterial, more like camphor or tea tree. You know, it's hard to say with, we're just guessing, you know, but mm-hmm. those are things that can be helpful in mm-hmm. those situations. Mm-hmm. So, so use your built up Southwest points and send Melanie a ticket and she'll come take a look. Yeah, I'll come bring, I'll bring my right. scope. We'll right. take a look. We'll bring the scope. Yeah, there you go. That's a great idea. Mm. Have scope, will travel. That's right. All I'm right. going to stand on the corner with a sign. I have a scope and I know how to use it. So, <laughs> God. All right. Melanie, is baking soda co-wash good for your hair? Mm. You haven't heard of that? Baking soda co-wash? <sighs> I, mm, as a co-wash, that's I have heard, says. I've heard of people using baking soda, but uh, I think that's going to be a little bit drying. Um, you know, that's what kind of. Do you know what kind that's of chemical that is? Yeah, sodium bicarbonate. Yeah, that's what I thought, sodium bicarbonate. Um, I used to buy rail cars of it, mm-hmm. like full railroad cars. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's more of like a clarifier um, than a co-wash, and I think it's going to be a little bit strong, don't don't you? But I Man, see that more of a know. clarifier I mean, than basic. a co-wash. You know, it's real basic, so it's um, you know, real high pH. Yeah, that's what I so God, high I pH know. means it's it's more um, alkaline. So that's that's why I'm saying that's more of a clarifier than a co-wash. Usually a co-wash is like people using, you know, wetting their no. hair down and using conditioner in between, which is a very low pH. So it's like the yeah, opposite. I, 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 to I me. mean, to answer this direct question, God, I don't know. I don't know how that would act on a, on a scalp. Yeah, I, I, I don't recommend it as a co-wash. I would, yeah. you know. Mm-mm. Huh, okay. All righty. Uh, let's go to another one. Ooh, here's a, here's a bad one. Melanie, I recently used a flat iron on my curls. What do I do to get my curls back? Wash your hair. Is that it? Well, I mean, typically, you know, it, a flat how iron. How, what do you mean? How, how, how many washes would it take to get them back? Usually one. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you have been flat ironing for years and pulling and stretching and straightening that hair, it's going to take longer if you've really damaged it and broken it down. But I mean, a flat using a flat iron is temporary. You know, it, that's like even if you would go out in the rain like it was today, your hair is going to start going back to its natural state, which is curly. So um, unless it's been, you know, uh, over and over and over over time, you know, that you've completely damaged that hair where, you know, it's going to take 
conditioning treatments and haircuts to get it back. But typically, a flat iron is just very temporary, one one washing. Mm, okay. All right. Let's um, let's do a curl crap giveaway. Okay. <laughs> you got to get the questions out, Melanie. Oh. Question number questions. one. Let's see. What are we going to give away first this week? This week. How about? Oh yeah, we gotta do that first. I, I had to find a prize first. I had to look. Okay, yeah, let's go through okay. the rules while you're looking All right. for your prize. Well, well, I'm looking for a prize. Uh, Rhett's gonna tell you the rules for the curl crap giveaway number thirteen because we have rules because we have rules. Yep. So go ahead. the winner must live in the lower forty eight states of the United States. Each person may only win once every sixty days. If you win and do not want the product, the only way that you're allowed to get rid of the product is by giving it away. You are not allowed to sell the product. The winner is the first person that I see in uh, in the chat, and you have to be specific with your answers. Uh, no hints or cheating from anyone who, if, you, if you're not allowed to win because of whatever reason, no hints or cheating, and no Googling the answers. Do it from your own knowledge. Uh, and remember that this is supposed to be fun, uh, be a good winner, and an even better loser. When you win, if you win, I will send you a direct message to your uh, Facebook inbox with a link to a Google form that you'll fill out with your email address, your address, and your shipping address, and your name. And those are the rules. Okay. Great. If you can't obey the rules, don't play. Oh, boy. Anyway, that's kind of the deal. All right. Um, Melanie, question number one will be for a... I don't think 16. you should. I don't think I just thought about this. I forgot right, to what? tell you before. What? I don't think you should tell them what they're winning. Well, here's the thing, because I don't want to give away stuff that people don't want. So they'll they'll play. That's see, that'll cause that's a problem. the whole point. But then if we if we tell them what the pro, if we don't tell them what the prize is and then they win and then they're like, ugh, I don't want that. Why would I want that? And next thing you know, they're trying to sell stuff. No. And, and then, then and they just off. give it away like we talked about. Yeah. But then they're going to be like. All right, he shipped me a bottle of stuff that I didn't want in the first place, and now he's telling me, you know, I'm gonna have to send spend eight bucks to ship it to Susie because I didn't want it. I'm just throwing it away, and then mm -hmm. nobody gets it. Got to think how people are. I'm just saying. I get it. I All right, here's what you win. Here's know. what you win: a 16.9 ounce bottle of Aussie Miracle Curls Co Wash, endorsed by. Nobody around here. And um Yeah. I mean and... who's gonna play then? See nobody wants that. <laughs> you wanna <a> bet? <laughs> I'll take that bet. And you know what else you get? You get one of the coveted No You Cannot Touch My Curls t shirts. If we have your size available, which we should. Uh and Rhett will take that when you if you are the winner, make sure you tell him your shirt size. If I don't have your shirt size, you're not getting one, so don't send me an email in a week and say, I didn't get my shirt. Because that means I, I haven't gotten size. my shirt. I'm sending you an email. What size do you want? Are you, I want Are you an XS? <laughs> no, I am not. You're just like Debbie. Debbie. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should see She's an M. Not eighteen miles instead of nine miles. You might be able to wear an extra small. There you go. <laughs> okay, rat. Thanks. I'm just picking on and you drink, because drink more green juice. I'm just picking on you because because he always picks on people about their shirt sizes. Uh -huh. So I'm picking on you. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm currently a medium. Maybe by next time I'll be a small. <laughs> so who wants a bottle of? I did skate seven mirror. laps. Let me just tell you. Oh last, yeah, because it rained. Yeah, because it rained. All right. <laughs> After, let me tell you, I got up at 7:30. I skated two laps. We went and did filming and working and mm -hmm. all that yeah. didn't eat and mm -hmm. then i went home and i skated five more laps and then we finally went to dinner uh -huh. yeah and then, and then i worked some more until two o'clock in the morning yeah and and, See, in, you and should with, follow me around it's, it's and really she put fun. the trichoscope on her head and there were gnats up in her, <laughs> up in her stuck there in were, her oil I, in her scalp i told deshaun <laughs> about that i said my head is itchier than ever because i saw bugs on my scalp there was black i'm telling you gnats. that thing is evil we shouldn't have got that thing <laughs> she said you can't become a obsessed i'm like i'm already obsessed. already obsessed <laughs> too late <laughs> i'm getting i'm getting hair plugs anyway who wants to win this bottle of of aussie miracle curls co-wash this stuff smells, smells smells good 
Let me smell. I used to like Aussie when I was young. When I was in college, when I was Kurt, young and broke, Kurt used I used to, to use, use Aussie. He always we smelled used like to grapes. Use Aussie too. Whenever I was a oh, kid, he always I smelled like grapes. I loved Aussie. Like, I like the little using kangaroo. That, stuff. that VO5 and Tresemme were like the things in our oh, house. I can totally had. tell. You know what? A bunch of my, I I know some clients have come in that have used this because I recognize that smell on their hair. Actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Karen Charles, yes. I know you watch, and this is your husband. Ooh. Someone just came I was his roommate long before you were. (laughs) Actually, I posted that picture where somebody came in and they had the flakes on their hair um, from Aussie. We should do, this is just a funny idea, but we should do something kind of like on Queer Eye where they go, you know, they go to the house or whatever. Yeah. Kind of what we talked about. Um, but have just like throw away their, all their products. Yeah, <laughs> go in their bathroom and just throw them in the garbage. Into the garbage can. Don't think do like we a, haven't thought of this. Like curl confiscation. Right. Don't think we haven't thought of this. Or have them bring this. their products into the into the salon and yes. we just take their products and uh, they can't take them home with them. That's right. I'm yeah. Clinton and this is <laughs> Melanie. No, it's not Melanie. You're supposed you to be. You are Clinton. We're gonna we're gonna put a gray stripe in your hair and just oh, like cool. uh, what you call it? Can't think of her name. Stacy. Stacy. Stacy London. Love Stacy London. Anyway, okay, Melanie, if you want to win this, you have to answer Melanie's question, which is Name the largest freshwater lake in the world. Uh huh. Name the largest freshwater mm-hmm. lake in the world, and you will win this coveted prize. Curl crap prize package. Melanie, um, while we're waiting for an answer, do you have a fun fact um for this evening? Do you have any fun facts or no? Oh my gosh, I didn't even think of anything. Well, that was kind of a fun fact that I had gnats stuck on my yeah. scalp last night. In the, in the uh, oil in her scalp. Well, they were stuck to my face. And then when I was doing the scope, I'm like, what's that little black dot? Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Gross. That's so gross. <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, um, no, I'm just glad to be back. Um, you know, I had a, a fun weekend. Oh, I had a fun. We- yes, I have a see, fun fact. You got to see some friends. I got to see some friends. I had some new experiences. I ate a Greek at, ate at a Greek restaurant for the first time. And ate and ate and, her most hated food. Yeah, I've always said that I I don't like lamb, which is kind of funny because I've oh. never had it. Yeah, well, actually, two. Yeah, there was some, all kinds of new experiences. I'm just like I don't know midlife crisis. Um, so I had lamb and it was delicious. I guess it was the ma- way that it was made. With the- it was spicy and everything, and I loved it. It was absolutely delicious. Not something I would order on a regular basis. I don't eat a lot of meat, but hey, I had to try it. And um, they made me eat a tomato. And I almost died. Almost died, but did not. I almost died. And no. we have a winner. Oh, oh we have a oh, winner. We have a we winner. <clears throat> Very quick, uh, Darlene Weberg. 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 Yay, Darlene. And the answer is Lake Superior. Correct. Oh, wonderful. Congratulations. That is correct. Okay, yeah, congratulations. I, I hate tomatoes. Ooh, yuck. But I, I, I choked it down. It wasn't, it really wasn't that bad. Uh, sounds like fun. Well, yeah. great. Okay, that's a fun fact. Mm-hmm. Let's get to another curl question. Melanie, I got my first Diva Cut a few weeks ago and the stylist used gel. I never used gel but liked the look. I part my hair on the side. How do I apply the gel and still part my hair? If I put it in when my hair is wet, then my hair gets quote unquote stuck in that position and I don't want to comb my hair and lose the wave. Any suggestions? Yeah. So I always put the hair in the direction you want to style it before you put any products in. So when I'm teaching and showing my clients how to style their hair, that's exactly how I teach them. Uh, I do go through it. So whether you're using your fingers or a wide tooth comb or whatever um, way that you're detangling your hair and preparing it for your products, you're just going to at that time put it in the direction that you want it to go. So it would already be parted on the side, um, whichever side you you want, and then you're going to apply your gel that way. So not a problem. Mm. Okay, good. All right, should we do another crap giveaway? Do another question. Do another question. I just had to write another question in there. I forgot. I was I was not going to do it, and I forgot, and I was mm. like going to pull it out. Okay, let's do another question. All right. Okay. All right. What water soluble products would you recommend to add shine to your curls? Hmm. Well, 
There's a lot of, you know, that's where we use a finishing shine serum, which is 100% natural organic oils. And so there are, that's why I, you know, have that debate with people when now they're saying oils are bad. It all depends, you know, and what else is mixed with them. You know, oils aren't bad for you. It's the ones, you know, there's certain things that can build up on the hair when they're combined with silicones and stuff like that. Um, but you can get great shine from things like broccoli seed oil, um, sunflower seed oil, um, a pe- of course, argon oil. Everyone's familiar with that one. Tomorrow. Tomato, no. Tomato is more of a healing oil. That's not so much for shine. So, but there's three right there. Mm, Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Hopefully that helps. I mean, you know, people, if you look at coconut oil, that's shiny, but it's really greasy and heavy by itself. So I wouldn't, you know, recommend that one. Okay. That's more. uh, And we talk about that as, um, you know, people try to use coconut oil as a conditioning treatment, and it's not that it's wrong, but it's just not the best because it's typically just going to sit on top of your hair because we have formulations that are made so that it reduces the size of the molecule so that it's pushed into the hair and not just coating it. Mm, okay. All right. All right. Um, Melanie, this is an interesting question. Mm. And especially where we live, I don't know why... We haven't thought about this, and this is, I don't even know the answer to this, so we're all going to learn something. Melanie, what are your thoughts on washing your curls with rainwater? Good? Bad? Is it worth taking the time to collect it? Good question. That's, yeah, that is. I, we haven't had that one before. Mm-hmm. I've seen people collecting them and you know, collecting the rainwater, and there was, We could lately. Holy yeah. cow, have we gotten the rain here? Yeah. And there's classes on that. So. Uh, typically in the past they've always said you know that was like really good water but now you know you hear about like the acid rain and stuff so I'm not sure if that's all changed with the ozone layers that was big when we that was a big issue where we lived 20 some years ago Mm -hmm. remember that that? was a big issue yeah I don't know how much that is anymore I'm not sure yeah I don't know remember how they always used to talk about it yeah yeah they don't right so I'm not up on the current weather and rain whatever um news (laughs) news <laughs> yeah news or uh, don't ask her anything about a, current pop culture she oh, knows nothing gosh yeah i live a sheltered life but um so i mean i want to say that it's good and okay because it's you know somewhat of a, a pure water um so i don't find that it's i don't think it's going to be harmful is it worth collecting it i'm not so sure we'd have to like you know talk to someone who a scientist or someone who's really into that and has done the research you know um mm-hmm. But I don't know. I don't really have the answer for that one either. Mm, okay. Uh, I will uh, I will ask. We have scientists and chemists on staff. Because it's going to take ask. a lot. You know, um, if you've ever tried to even, like if you travel to Mexico and you can't drink the water and you got to brush your teeth with a bottle of water. I mean, you go through a whole bottle trying to brush your teeth once, you know. So it would take so much water that you have to collect to try to wash through your hair and rinse it and i'd almost have to say it's not worth it uh, now Mm. that i think about it more because it's going to be it's going to be so difficult but yeah i'm going to ask just for giggles yeah and see if i see what um see what our chemists say if they've got any um Mm. any insight let's do uh curl crap giveaway number two let's do that tonight uh all right let me see what i've got here oh look surprise We've never had this before. A the coveted Raw Curls five pack starter kit of organic cleanser, organic conditioner, organic firm hold and medium hold gel, and the coveted Raw Curls anti frizz spray, all in a um, a, a beautiful see through plastic bag. plastic bag travel pack, <laughs> TSA approved. So there. That's it. I think that's it. Yeah, let's just do that. All right. But if you want to win this, you have to answer this trivia question about booze. Booze? Yes. Number two. Oh, my gosh. Do you know what that word with the B is, or do you need me to tell you what it is? Mm. Well, do I know the definition of it, or do I know how to pronounce it? Do you know how to pronounce it? Probably not, but I'll try. Who was a legendary Benedictine? Benedictine. Benedictine. Monk, yeah. Who was the legendary Benedictine monk who invented champagne? 
Oh. I'm a trivia. Not there a, was. I, mm, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Anti. I have some clients that are like champagne snobs, and I don't. There was a woman that invented champagne. Uh, I don't. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, this we're Ooh. we're we're going with the we're going with my answer. I, I don't care if anybody's got uh, is my answer. Either get my answer or not. So red, I'm not playing that. Anybody's got 14 answer game. It's my okay. Answer. So here's the problem with that though, Ken. If you if it's the wrong answer, but they answer it correctly, then how do I know that it was wrong or right? If your answer it goes wrong. goes back to my rush quote. If you choose not to decide, you we still have a bitch. winner anyway. Okay, good. That's the end of that, <laughs> right? So, all right. So, Red, who's the winner of the coveted Peggy McHale, uh, Dom Perignon is the answer. Perignon. 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 That's a hard word. That's uh, a hard word. What's her name? Dawn. What? Uh, Peggy McHale. Peggy. Congratulations, Peggy. No, the answer is Dom Perignon. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Dom, just say Dom. Be cool. Dom, I you thought know? it was Don. D O N. No, it's Dom. Dom. Dominic. Oh. You know, t- t- that, Italian monk. I can never say it right, but it's like Vive Clo or whatever. What? Oh, it's, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Why are you? That's mean, another what? champagne. It's a champagne that everybody loves. V. It's a French champagne. Yeah. Comes in a yellow box. Yeah. It, no, not in a box. It comes with a yellow label. Mm-hmm. But it's expensive. But well, if you give it as a gift, it Ken only drinks that box yeah. champagne. Yeah, yeah, that's what you drink in college. But um, no, any well, anyway, I read the whole Dime story. Tappers at the library. Yeah, at the oh library. God. Tuesdays at four. <laughs> that's pathetic. She was the one who created champagne. Can we get on to some curl questions? Because I'm so knowledgeable about alcohol. All right. Okay. All right, Melanie. Um, you want to talk? You want to talk about porosity? I think I need some champagne. You want to talk about porosity or protein? Oh, two of your favorite topics. The two peas. Which one do you want to talk about? Doesn't matter. <laughs> she hates them both. All I right. don't. Let's do. Them. Let's go into them. All right. Um, let's see if we do this one. Yeah, let's do this one, and then. Um, yeah, by tomorrow morning, 14 people will call me stupid, so that's okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, Melanie, uh, this question is older than Methuselah. You want to look that one up, Rhett, oh <laughs> so you can God. get that reference? I know what older than Methuselah is. Because you're Southern. That's yes, because I grew up in the buckle of the Bible Belt. Okay, that's, okay, that's right. That's a saying? That's what, a saying. The buckle of the Bible Belt? No, oh, no yeah. Methuselah. Older it's Methuselah. older Methuselah. Yeah, so. I know what that is. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Never heard of it. Um, okay, but... There are so many conflicting answers. Darn right there are. High porosity hair. Does it absorb or lose water easily? Or does it absorb water easily and since it is porous, does it then retain the water longer? Does porosity matter as much as people seem to think it does? Oh my God. Do you want me to reread that or? Because there's three questions in that one question. I know, that's a lot of questions. All right. High porosity hair. Does it absorb and lose water easily? Um, well, so when it's like you're thinking about the, the test, or the float test, um, high porosity is typically going to want to absorb the water. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Does it, abs- does it retain the water longer? See, that's no, usually that's the problem. So it ha- like high porosity hair usually has like, I think of it as having an open cuticle. So um, you're trying, it has a hard time retaining the water. Okay. Does porosity matter as much as people seem to think it does? Yeah, it does. It affects the hair. Um, You know, I, I know it's really been made into a big issue. So in that way, yep, lately, I don't, you know, I, I don't think so. But it does. It is a factor for sure. Yeah. So you do a ton of curly hair clients every month at your salon. Um, how often do you take a client and do a porosity test on them? Never. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> but it matters. <laughs> Explain yourself. 
Well. Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> I can tell the porosity. I can mostly tell the porosity just by looking at hair. That's why I'm like, the people make such an issue of okay. it. It's like, you know, of course, you look at my hair. What It's going to be more porous on the ends because it's so long. I mean, you can see the ends are like, you know, kind of like this. That means they're open and it's going to be more porous, you know. Um, so it's, you know, do I need to take the time to test it? Not normally. Mm, I, I, okay. you know, I, different textures, it's, you can tell it's dry and porous, yeah. you know. So I've been in the industry so long, it's not like I need to run in the back and put hair in a, in a glass and do a float yeah. test. There's very few times. I mean, once in a great while, I've done a stretch test um, because I find that more effective. You know, and that was having to do more with coloring the hair. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tracy Perez uh, has a similar question this week. Um, I, I'll have Melanie answer this uh, off air and get you an answer sometime during the week. It's just she had pictures and it just it just wouldn't work for the show. But I just wanted you to know I did see your question. And at some point I'll get Melanie to get back with you. Um, she's a she is a Raw Curls Academy um, graduate of yours. Who so, is? Um, Tracy Perez. So she was in your last class. Uh, mm -mm. Did I get that wrong? There was no Tracy. No, Tiffany Perez. Was Tiffany, I'm class. sorry. I didn't. Uh, I didn't write it down, but I had the question here because I like, didn't take the name. Sorry, yeah, Tiffany. Didn't recognize that name. At sorry. All. Yeah, I was like okay, Tracy. Yeah. There was no Tracy. Sorry. Tiffany. Sorry. Tiffany was a little. It she, actually would have been funny because yes. I think everybody Lovely in that class had Y's at the end of their name anyway. They did. They had that's that. Right. Yeah, which was funny, but that would have. I mean, maybe that's why uh -huh. we thought that. Yeah. Yep. She was the. Um, she was a shorter girl with yes. red hair, yep. long red hair. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yep, but, but well, I will. Anyway, she has some more questions. They, you got to see the pictures. Oh, about porosity? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, there's a really good and thorough explanation of it in um, Michelle Breyer's book. Ah, okay. Yeah. She goes into a real nice explanation of porosity and the, the different, you know, yeah. tests and everything. If you want, Red, if you got a moment, go on a website and grab a link for that. And um, on the um, Raw Hair Organics website, grab a link Pearl for that. Revolution. Post it. Yeah, post it in the um, comments. Anybody wants to? Yeah. It's cheap. It's I forget what it is. Ten or fifteen bucks. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I think cheap. we have one here, don't we? Like out there. I don't think so. I think it's gone. But anyway, mm -hmm. it, we won't talk. If anybody wants to see, it. it's a good book. Yeah. It's, why, it's the only reason it's on our website is because it's a good book. Uh, let's do one more curl crap giveaway. Okay, and here's the deal. <sighs> This is not a crap giveaway. Wow. I know. That's expensive. I know. But we're going to give it away. This giveaway, we should make we should make them answer two questions. Do we have two questions? We're doing question number 3 you guys just so you guys know. We are going to do number three. Why are you giving that away? You're supposed to be giving cur curl crap away. Okay. This, this is a, this prize package is a uh, RH Organic Skin Care, 98.5% um, natural, and I think um, 55 to 70% organic marine complex foaming cleanser. It's like a $50 cleanser. A um, 1.7 ounce jar of the Marine Complex Hydration Cream. That's probably 50 or 60 bucks. And then this bottle of Marine Complex Serum that I love. And I've gotten such great feedback about how smooth it makes. And it does. It really does. Um, You've been using that? Lately. I, have, I don't have that one. I have the vitamin C. There's a reason. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll tell you guys what happened. Um, there, I thought, and I was going to give this away as a package because I thought we had a miscue in the manufacturing of the serum. Um, I thought that it went through the cooling tunnel and it gelled, and it and it. I thought we had a bad batch because of that because it went through the cooling tunnel too long. It didn't. It's the it's the texture. It's a true serum. So I was going to give it away because I thought, well, I got to throw them away or you know, whatever. I mean, might as well give them away, right? Um, you get as much as you can because it's gelled. But then I found out that it's that's how it is. Um, so I'm giving away. So that's like a well, hundred and fifty dollar prize. You have package. to give it away then. I know, but it was in my box. <laughs> oh my god! Take it out of the box. So this is a really good prize package. So so um, yeah. So Rep, be picky on who. Uh, 
you know, on who's got the answer to this. Because this is, this is good. Oh, and I just broke the bag. <laughs> $150 product in a... With a 20 cent 20 bag. 20 cent bag that doesn't even zip up. I'll break. find a better bag. I'll use one of the other bags we use. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right. Melanie, what's the question to this win this? This makes my mon- monkey wrangler <laughs> comment earlier. Just It just solidifies it. I, I'll put it in a better bag. You get the nice products, but you get the cheap Keep bag. bag. <laughs> This is a cl- this is a high class organization you here. You should put the Aussie product in the nice bag. <laughs> <laughs> I could. <laughs> you get the cheap ass product, but you get a nice bag. I think these bags are twenty cents. I think they're less than that. <laughs> you get like five thousand for like twenty five bucks. Something like that. Oh my god. Okay, where mm. are we number? Question three. number three. That's a great answer for that. Name the seventh planet from the sun. Oh, God. <laughs> he likes the answer. It's funny. I can name the third one. <laughs> what? Because you, you watched the show back in the 90s? No, because I live on the planet. Oh, yeah, that too. That too. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> good luck. And if, um, yeah, whoever's going to win this is, um, dang, this is a good one. We have a winner. No, that took long. They cheated. That took long? I said that, I said that didn't take long. Uh, Ellie Griffin. Ellie, Ellie Griffin. Griffin. Congratulations. The answer, the answer oh. is Uranus. No, Uranus. Uranus. That's not how it's pronounced. It's pronounced Uranus. Okay. What was her name? Uh, Ellie Griffin. Ellie, congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, you are the winner of this wonderful package for knowing Uranus. <laughs> it's definitely Uranus. <laughs> for, it's for knowing Uranus. Thank you. Either way. Not that that makes Urine it better. Urine or anus. It definitely doesn't make it better, but it does make exactly. it a little bit better. <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting a broken bag. <laughs> no, you're not. I will. I'll find a, I'll take one of the other bags. All right. So congratulations on that. You want to do another question? Mm-hmm. Oh, what time is it? Uh, it's almost 25 after. How many? You want to do one more? Mm-hmm. Do you have time to do one more? One. One. Okay. All right. All right. Well, here I'm gonna I'm gonna an- I'll do the next question. I'm gonna answer it quickly, uh, so you don't have to drag into it because I know the answer. Melanie, um, and I'm gonna re- I'm gonna read it the way I saw it typed in in the voice I saw it typed. Just so you know, okay, Melanie, why are you only a Diva Curl Level Two stylist and not a Level Three stylist? The reason is is because Melanie has been a Diva Curl stylist so long that. The, they, the, they the level, the level three. three certification didn't come about until like 10 years after. So no. Melanie has, well, a long time after, and Melanie had taken other classes like the Art of Texture and blah, 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 blah. Before that Diva Curls level three certification even came about. That level three certification came about, and we talked about this with Miss Sherry Harbinger. I said it right. Um, our friend who's come on the show that came about um, because they had started to do some trainings mm-hmm. and they were doing look and learns, trying to get stylists interested. And those stylists unbeknownst to, to the people at Diva curl um, started going home and advertising themselves as being diva trained. So they were like, crap, all of a sudden they had all these stylists coming out that had just watched somebody cut for a couple hours going back, cutting people's curls, hacking them up, and they still are to this day. You guys know that. And um, they knew they had to do something to counteract this. So they instituted the certified level three. So people, stylists had to come back and get that certification. And um, I and I don't. I've said this before. I don't blame Diva Curl one bit for that. It was, it was just one, I could, to, I totally understood, because I'm in the business, I watched it happen. I totally understood why they did it. I know why it happened. It was not intended. So that being said, if you are a curly girl and are looking for a curly hair stylist and you're specifically looking for a diva curl trained one, if you look and you see a level two stylist, there's a very good chance that stylist is just as good or better than a level three. If you go back and ask them and they say, I've been a level two for 10 years, you, you know what you're getting or five years or six years. <clears throat> You know what you're getting. So let I'm I'm just gonna leave it at that. It was there that's was why some... the level three came about in the first place was to counteract um 
an unintended consequence of them trying to get more stylists trained. I, I, it suck. It, it just, and that's why that's one of the reasons we've got the rock girls Academy now is to train stylists up and give them actual training. So we don't have people going around, not trained, watching people cut curls and then saying they're trained. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just, yeah. it just one of those deals. Um, it just wasn't necessary for me. Um, yeah, like you said, I just, I literally had just finished, you know, the, the highest training that they had to offer, and then they started that. So it was like, really, am I just going to go back just for that? I don't know. Right, so they can see me cut again. Yeah, which they just, so, you know, yeah. I mean, and I'm, I'm friends with everybody, you know, at different, you know, well, at Diva, and we've worked together a lot, and yep. you know, um, yep. now with We Dad and Cristo from Curlisto, and yep. you know, um, yeah, I just haven't found that it would be. Um, I don't want to say that it would be worth it because it's not like it, you know, but it just hasn't been necessary. Yeah. For somebody at, at, uh, that, for somebody who had been trained at Diva Curl long before that came about, and especially because of the reason it came about, yeah, there's just no need. Mm -hmm. So, you know, on an individual basis, you know, I mean, on an individual basis, you don't think of it that way. So anyway, so that's that. All right. You want to do one more question and then we'll, um, we'll go on. Okay. Um, <laughs> I did. Did I answer? Yeah. All right. No, no, we, just, no I did. Um, we edited that out. Yeah, just carry <laughs> on. Her answer out. What? What was her answer? Well, first of all, I was going to answer, you know, and then you just no, decided. I said I was going to. Now you asked I didn't me a question drag it and on. answered for I'm going to answer you another one. All right. Um, okay. We might even do two quick ones here. Uh, let's see. Melanie, how do you encourage the hair in the back of your head to curl? Uh, well, it's just the styling uh, application technique. So um, you just need to make sure that you're applying product from root to end in each section thoroughly. So, um, you know, I find that it's easiest for me to do that upright. Some people flip over, but then a lot of times they're missing that area in the crown. So, um, but it's just a matter of proper product application. Hmm. Okay. Proper. And then, you know, I guess that includes... Um, Pinning, clipping? Yeah, I I honestly, you know, don't clip my hair or pin my hair a lot, but um using the diffuser now like what Chadwick has with the the uh root lifter, you know, that is really awesome. That is I love that. I I really, you know, now that I've worked with this diffuser more, um it, it really is amazing and it just makes the hair and the curl so much nicer and um, really because yeah. you, now you've used that thing for a month or two mm -hmm, eh? mm -hmm. like it yeah i love it Rhett, can you post a link to that video we did um of melanie so you'll if anybody wants to watch it you can uh, take a look at that thing can you yeah. find that it's okay. so easy it's so easy to get lift you know when you just stick it in there and push it up and you don't have to worry about burning your head um it's just and you can do like a whole section of your head at one time like the whole well i can i have a small head <laughs> but um like i can do the whole side or the whole back and so it's just really quick and easy and it works very well mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and we'll do one more quick one here Melanie, how do you personally color curly hair and not damage it? Do you use Olaplex on every one of your clients? I hardly ever use Olaplex. Why? Again, I don't find it necessary because of the products that I'm using. I'm using organic non-ammonia hair color. So it's already super gentle and conditioning. It has a very low um, pH compared to a lot of other hair colors. Um, what else? It, um, has a lot less of the chemicals that are typically in hair color. They remove them or reduce them. Um, so I just, I don't have a need. The client's hair looks so healthy and conditioned when we call it actually feels better after you color it than before. And we see the difference. Like when someone new comes in and they start transitioning to the hair color that we use, you can see where the old hair color was used in the hair compared to the new. So there's just no need for me to use the Olaplex. The only time is if um, I'm highlighting super fine hair and it, and they want it really, really, really blonde and it's, you know, fine and damaged uh, for the protection there, then I use it. But again, typically with my normal highlights, because of my training, I don't overlap. I'm not, you know, um, breaking down the hair more than what you need to to just do a regular highlight. There's no overlapping. 
Um, so yeah, it's very, very rare that I use Olaplex, me personally. Don't need to. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, I could elaborate on that, but I'm not gonna. I know people know what I think. Mm. <laughs> I'm not going any further on that. Crutch. Hashtag crutch. Um, I'm going to get blasted for that. Anyway. All right. So I think that's it. Uh, do we have anything else? Okay. So we talked about our guest for next week. Don't forget to be here next week and tell your straight. Anybody that you know, male, female, um, curly hair, thin hair, black, white, Latino, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, tell them to come on. We're going to have somebody on here that's going to do open Q&A and it's going to tell you everything you need to know or like me, don't want to know God, how much the hair crazy. plugs cost. That's, that's, oh, that's my question. True. It's Are expensive. expensive. It's not even worth it. That is definitely not I worth it. I think it's funny that he's not really even balding at all. Yeah. It, 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 there's no like no signs. You have a complete full head of hair and yet you're complaining about one little spot. And I'm like, there, my, there are people that I know that like lose their hair at like 25 and have zero hair. Right. <laughs> or I laugh like, like my longest friend when we were in high school uh, was already going gray. Gray or bald? Gray. I'm oh, just talking about oh. how I, you know, complain about, you know, people get aging stuff and yeah, I'm gonna get a little tiny spot. And I'm going to start complaining like, about gray as much as Ken people with gray hair. One little bald spot. Yeah. My, yeah. my friend Pete was by 23 or four was completely gray. And Dave um, is bald. Dave has been bald for, oh God, two decades. Yeah. So I'm the luckiest and of you, all And you all lost our, all, all your friends. hair and it grew back and you should yeah, be grateful. I am grateful. Very much so. Very much so. All right. So yeah, that's but it. I want to, gosh, what is her last name? Did Rhett, did you look that up? I think it's Deshaun Bradford. I did not look that up. Uh, I just had the picture. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> driving me crazy. But right. anyway, um, yeah. So anybody, you know, it affects so many people. And that's why I decided to go ahead and, you know, continue my education and get additional training in that area because, um, it seems like so many people, including us, you know, are going through, mm -hmm. you know, some thinning or some hair loss um, yeah. and or have so, bugs in their scalp. so many some clients that come in <laughs> to the salon have issues. And so I, I just, you know, we have Xenogen, which I love. It works great. But that's just a topical, you know, one product yeah. recommendation. So I just wanted to dig a little deeper and go further with that um, area of the industry and be able to help more people. Yeah, they just died. Mm. Instagram. Bye. Dead. Bye, Instagram. Bye. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. All right. Well, that that's our cue. That's our cue to wrap this thing up. So uh, again, keep in mind. Also, if you're a licensed stylist, I only have three spots. I only have three spots. I only oh have three God. spots left. I only have three spots left for the upcoming Raw Curls Academy workshop in Naples on the 27th and 28th. Go to Raw Curls backslash Academy if you want to sign up for that. Uh, get uh, get on that list. Uh, be here next week for that. Anything else you want to add? Anything else you want to throw in? No, no. Miss Murphy this week, and she got a bath and everything. I I know. I was going to bring her, but like I said, I had to run to Verizon before coming here, so I didn't want to leave her in the car. And so anyway, no, I, uh, I know. I wanted to bring her, and I really thought about it. But alrighty. I had to get a new phone because I almost had a stroke over yeah. my other phone, mm -hmm. and I didn't get to it today until the very end of the day. So. Right. You know, that's a bottle of Olaplex right in front of me. I you. know. And this is the one full of silicone. I thought it? seven is. That's a six. No, this is the Bond Smoother. Oh. This is the smoothing. All right. Yeah, full of silicone. Yeah. We're supposed to have someone on from Olaplex to come out and talk about stuff, but um, they have not scheduled a date yet. I also got a uh, someone from Dyson, from Dyson headquarters coming really? on too. Yep, sure do. Wow. Uh-huh. Yep. They keep, um, uh, yeah, that's going to happen. So. Maybe I'll get a Dyson. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Isn't that part of the deal? You come on the show, I get your product. It should be. Uh huh. We should. Uh, we get, remind me of that, right? We gotta start that deal. Yeah. Can we get somebody from the Lamborghini dealership in Naples? Right. On the show, live. <laughs> I'll give them a full hour. <laughs> anyway. Got it. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next week. And don't forget, tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m., this episode and all the others will uh, will be available. 
uh, as a podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Radio Public, Podcast Addict, and many more. And uh, you will also find this show will be archived on the uh, Curly Hair Q&A YouTube channel uh, as well, probably about half an hour after the show is over tonight. So that's about it. Right, Rhett? Anything else? Week. What's that? I said have a great curl week. Have a great curl week. We'll see you guys next week for a fun show.